Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing the second part of multiplication of matrices. If you have been following this series, you will be able to iron out addition and subtraction of matrices in details. You can check the videos on this channel. We've been able to start multiplication of matrices, but this concluding part will round up this topic matrices. But as you can see on the screen, we'll be having a bonus question in this concluding part. That question will involve multiplication, addition, and subtraction of matrices. So, because matrices will come in different form and dimension, the moment you understand all these basics, you'll be able to tackle any question. So, let's see what we have. We'll solve question number one, which is purely multiplication. Then question number two involves multiplication addition and subtraction as you can see so let's dive straight into solving the question so for question number one we have to determine this multiply by this so let's see solution number one awesome this is the question so we have to multiply this and this and i said when you are multiplying matrices you need to be very very careful that you don't make a mistake and you put all the signs into consideration awesome as usual you'll be multiplying this by this 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 and this by this and lastly this by this this by this and this by this so let's quickly jump into that so let's use this as a template so that we go a long way to help us beautiful so let's start one we can start from here one times two to give us two plus zero times one to give us zero plus three times three will give us nine so we move to this next one one times two will give us two plus 0 times 3 will give us 3. 0 times 3 will give us 0. Sorry. 0 times 3 will give us 0. Plus 3 times 2 will give us 6. Awesome. I'll move to the last one here. 1, one times 0 will give us 0. Plus 0 times 2 will give us 0. Plus 3 times 0 will give us 0. Beautiful. We've been able to iron out that. So we move to the next one. Here. Yeah. 2 times 2 will give us 4. Plus 1 times 1 will give us 1. Plus. 2 times 3 will give us 6. Beautiful. Move to this next one. 2 times 2 will give us 4. Plus 1 times 3 will give us 3. Plus 2 times 2 will give us 4. Beautiful. Then the last one on this line. 2 times 0 will give us 0. Plus 1 times 2 will give us 2. Plus 2 times 0 will give us 0. Beautiful. And lastly, 1 times 2 will give us 2. Plus 3 times 1 will give us 3. Plus 1 times 3 will give us 3. 
beautiful then to this next one one times two give us two plus three times three to give us nine plus one times two to give us two beautiful and lastly one times zero will give us zero plus three times two will give us six plus and one times zero will give us zero beautiful so with this we can now get our final answer okay two plus zero will give us two Two plus nine will give us eleven. We have eleven. Two plus zero will give us two. Two plus six will give us eight. So we have eight. Awesome. Zero plus zero plus zero will give us zero. Four plus one will give us five. Five plus six will give us what? Eleven. 4 plus 3 will give us 7. 7 plus 4 will give us 11. 0 plus 2 will give us 2. 2 plus 0 will give us 2. 2 plus 3 will give us 5. 5 plus 3 will give us 8. Two plus 9 will give us 11. 11 plus 2 will give us 13. 0 plus 6 will give us 6. 6 plus 0 will give us 6. Awesome. So that is our answer for question number 1. Beautiful. So let's dive straight to question number 2. Question number 2 is the bonus question we are having to round up our math lesson. So this is the question. Solution 2 Beautiful. If A is this, B is this, C is this, we should find 2A minus 3B plus 4C. So, first thing first, we look for 2A. This is A. A. So 2a would definitely be 2 multiplied by what we have here. We are saying 2 times minus 3 because that's what we are going to use to multiply all the elements we have here. 2 times minus 2 will give us minus 6. 2 times 0 will give us 0. 2 times 7 will give us 14. 2 times minus 4 will give us what? minus 8. Awesome. So this is our 2a minus 6 0. 14 minus 8. The next one is 3b. We ask to look for 3b. So let's get our b and multiply by 3. So 3b will definitely be 3 times all what we have here. So 3 times 2 here will give us 6. 
3 times minus 1 here will give us minus 3. 3 times minus 7 will give us minus 21. And 3 times 4 will give us 12. Awesome. So these are 3 bits. And the next one is what? 4C. The next one is 4C. So let's get our C. So our four C is equal to multiplying four with all we have here. So four times one will definitely give us four. Four times zero will give us zero. Four times minus two will give us what? Minus eight. And 4 times minus 4 will give us what? Minus 16. Awesome. So we've been able to iron out all we have here. So the next thing for us is to find 2a minus 3b plus 4c. Awesome. So let's get our 2a. Here's the value for our 2a, this is it, 2a, minus 3b, so this is our 3b, plus 4c, this is our 4C. Awesome. So with this, we can now go to our normal addition and subtraction of matrices. So let's go. Don't forget you are adding and subtracting corresponding elements. Okay. Minus 6, minus 6, plus 4. That's for that. The next one 0, minus, minus 3. 0, minus. Minus 3, 0 minus minus 3 plus 0. The next one 14 minus minus 21, 14 minus minus 21, 14 minus minus 21 plus minus 8 plus minus 8 then lastly minus 8 minus 12 minus 8 minus 12 plus minus 16 plus minus 16 beautiful so with this we can now get our final answer so let's deal with those ones that have bracket fourth minus times minus here will give us plus here we have 0 plus 3 Beautiful. Minus times minus here will give us plus. So we have 14 plus 21 here. Minus times plus will give us minus here. So we have 21 plus 8. 21 minus 8. Minus times plus will give us minus. 
the upper one minus this. Beautiful. And lastly, here we have minus times plus will give us minus. We have 12 minus 16 at this end. Beautiful. We can now get our final answer. Awesome. So let's quickly do that. So we now have minus 6, minus 6. We give us what? Minus 12. Minus 12 plus 4 will give us what? Minus 8. Give us minus 8. We have minus 8 here. Yeah. Beautiful. 0 plus 3 will give us 3. 3 plus 0 will give us 2 give us 3. Beautiful. And here. Yeah. 14 plus 21 will give us what? 35. And 35 minus 8 will give us 27. Awesome. And lastly, here we have minus 8 minus 12. Minus 8 minus 12 will give us what? Minus 20. Minus 20 minus 16 will give us what? Minus 36. So with this, we have come to the end of matrices, addition, subtraction, multiplication. So these basics will help a lot to tackle any form of question that comes our way on this topic. You can always pause, rewind the video to get more understanding or more explanation of this video. If you have any question or issue about any of our videos or this, Kindly drop a comment with us. We'll reply as soon as we can. Help us like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel, My Simple Maths. And don't forget to activate to on the notification bell so that you can also always receive notification from us whenever we post a new video. Thank you.